A lot of people ask me, where do I go for antivirus? And once I get antivirus, how do I install it? In fact, the other day, I worked with a really cool lady from Human Resources, and she says, hey, can you help me fix up my computer with antivirus? And I said, hell yeah, yeah, I can do that. And then she wrote me up for swag. But regardless, today I'm going to show you how to download and install AVG Antivirus 2011. We're going to go ahead and go up to Firefox here, open it up. I'm going to click in the status bar. I'm going to type in free.avg.com, and this will open up their website. When you get to their website, there's two different versions you can pick from, the commercial version and the basic version. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the basic version. I'm going to click Download Now on the left-hand side to download the basic version. It'll take you to the next page. I'll go ahead and scroll down. And then, again, it's going to show you all the different versions you can download. If you look to the right, you will see under Antivirus Free Edition, there is Core Protection. Core Protection means your basic antivirus software and underneath that it shows you that you're going to be protected against surfing, searching, and social networking. This is going to defend you against things like phishing attacks. If you decide you want to buy the full version of AVG, looking down the left-hand column, it provides you more tools for protection, which some people need. Again, I'm installing the basic version, so I'm going to click the free version. I'm going to hover over the Download Now button and click that takes me to the next page and you're gonna click download now then it takes you to the next page then your download is automatically gonna pop up you're gonna click save file the files already downloaded I'm gonna go ahead and minimize back to the desktop move this over here I don't know about you, but sometimes I hate it whenever I accidentally download to my downloads folder. I never use it. Usually, I download straight to my desktop. You can avoid this by right-clicking in this area right here. And you can right-click and go to Open Containing Folder. It's going to open the downloads folder. Uh, for this example, I just opened it up. I'm going to pull it to my desktop, copy it here, close that, close that, and I'm going to move this right over here and double-click it. It's going to ask you if you want to run it. Click Run. It extracts. And this is the Download Manager. It's going to download the rest of AVG to install on your computer. You pretty much want to run AVG any way you can. You don't have to go by my example. Right here you have the Terms and Conditions. Uh, you can scroll down through. You should always read your Terms and Conditions very diligently. Click Accept. Again, it's going to ask you if you want the full protection or the basic protection. Uh, I'm going to click the basic protection. If you go to full protection, it gives you a trial. Uh, so I'm just going to go basic. I'm going to click next. This is a license key. The license key is for the basic protection. You can just go ahead and click next again. And quick install or custom install, I always go with quick install. Hit next. It's going to ask you if you want to change your home page or install a toolbar. Uh, I'm going to click no because I just don't want those features right now. And I'm going to click next. Now you're in the home stretch. It's going to download and install the rest of AVG onto your computer. The download's about 120 megabytes from what I'm seeing. It might take you a little bit. Through the process of movie magic, I sped this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Now it's going to ask you if you'd like to register. This is just a tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to choose not to register. You can register if you want to hear about updates and stuff like that from AVG. I'm going to click Finish. AVG is now up and running on your computer. Uh, it usually starts updating automatically whenever you first install it. So I just clicked Updates right there. It shows you a status bar for... Uh, any pending updates that AVG needs to install onto your computer. It usually notifies you when the update is successful, which it is right here. And usually whenever you have it downloaded and up and running, uh, you want to start a scan right off the bat. So scroll over to the left, click Scan Now, and it automatically starts scanning your PC for any viruses. 
okay, you're pretty much done. I think AVG is a really good antivirus. There's no such thing as a foolproof antivirus. There's always new viruses coming out every day, pretty much. So for the price, I mean, like, it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's a quality product. It doesn't seem to hog up any resources. I mean, like, it takes some resources, but nothing that I've ever noticed so far. And if you feel like it's a good product, you should buy their full version. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, visit my website, digidojo.org, and prepare to be blown away. Or, or not. I, I don't know.